in Ewigkeit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we are faithful in Christ. Today we celebrate the uh, twelfth Sunday after Pentecost. We also mentioned that we will be that we will have a Holy Mass also on the Thursday, 15th of August, Feast of the Assumption of Our Lady at uh, 10 30. Today, in the epistle, we read again uh, St. Paul to the Corinthians, what we also already read for several uh, Sundays. And today we have the point that St. Paul is accused that he has his own um, teachings and he defends himself and he says everything I teach I refer to God not only I know that my, the whole apostolate depends only on the humble uh, submission obedience uh, that God can work with me and in me. St. Paul says, uh, because everything I do uh, is a fruit of the grace of God. Otherwise I can't do anything with the only uh, human forces, natural forces, uh, the man cannot in absolute think anything and even much less uh, to will and to do uh, which is um, uh, which brings merit uh, in, in a supernatural way. Everything uh, has uh, the need of the grace. And he continues and explains that he takes part on being apostle with the others. And he says, and this ministry is even much higher than those of the Old Testament. Because the Old Testament, the laws given to Moses, to Moses, he was a prophet and it was a, a written law and sure Moses, he was a, a very um, a very saintly main man and doing the will of God in a perfect way. And when he talked to God and he came then out to talk, to teach the people, he had to cover his head because it was so shining, so still glorious, his appearance uh, being in the presence of God. But when we have the law of the New Testament, which is written into our hearts, it comes, it, it, it was given to us directly by the Son of God, by Jesus Christ himself. And the Old Testament indicates the New Testament. And therefore the Old Testament and the, the scribes and the Pharisees, they were killed by the latter. But because they did not understand anymore the spirit of the letter. We, got, we have got the, the law written in our heart and it's by, a, by the Holy Ghost. And therefore it is the fulfillment. It is the fulfillment of the laws. And it's 
it continues. It's not a progress. I mentioned because today many things are always in progress. In progress and progress and in progress. But we must understand and Saint Vincent of Plerin, who died 450, he explains that a progress means that something uh, becomes more. It grows in perfection. But it means it was not perfect before. Therefore, every, every time when in religion we talk about progress, we, we talk about uh, a false concept. In the church, in the teaching of the church, we, um, we can uh, explain it more deeply. We have more description about it. But the perfection is present or has been present from the very beginning by Jesus Christ, the Apostle, they had a more perfect faith than we are. Even though today we have all those dogmas and so forth. But the faith does not know progress. Because the perfectness was in the very beginning with Christ. As far as for the Gospel of today, we read from St. Luke that uh, uh, a doctor of the, of the Pharisees uh, asked our Lord Jesus Christ what is the highest law, the most important law. And he, he asked out of pride because he wanted to find anything where he can accuse him uh, later on. And uh, Jesus Christ, he made the question back to him, what is written in the law? And then he, he says that you have to love uh, God from all your heart, above all other things, and the next as yourself. And Jesus Christ said, you have uh, answered correctly. And then he, the Pharisee, asked again, and who is the next? And there we have that as the commenters, commentators write, that for them, for the scribes and the Pharisees, the next was only... Uh, those of their own um, race, the, the Jews. Sadly, it, um, it did not change very much. And and the others, that means the pagans and also the Samaritans, they were not the next. And that Jesus Christ makes this parable of the stranger who falls under the robbers and he is left behind half dead. And there walks by a priest and a Levite and they just walk by without, without doing anything. Then there comes a Samaritan and he has mercy on him. He takes care, he puts uh, wine and oil in his wounds and he brings him into a hostel and asks the keeper that he takes care of him and when whatever thing, every, whatever is, is necessary additionally to the two coins he gave, he will pay it on a return. And this has also a mystical um, uh, explanation. The mystical explanation is that the, the, the high priest, the priest and the Levite uh, present the Old Testament who are not able 
to heal the wounds of the human race. And just the strange that a Samaritan, the good Samaritan, Jesus Christ, he comes, he uh, cleans the wounds with oil and with wine, that means with the holy sacraments. He brings him into the hostel, that means into the holy church, and he uh, asks them to take, to take care of them. That's the ministers of the church who uh, asked by Christ that he take care of the, of the people, of the sick, of the sinners who need help, who need to be cured. And then when he will come back, he will pay abundantly. And this is why millions and millions of sisters, uh, and not only, were serving, serving to, to the sick people just for the salary of God. God promised to them. That's why Holy Mother the Church uh, confers the sacraments to heal the wounds, to make them uh, healthy again, most of all in, this, in the soul and then also in the body. Dear faithful, let us recognize in this beautiful um, gospel of today what Christian, what the Catholic faith has done to the world. It has brought the love of God to the next. It was the fulfillment of the law given by Christ. And this was truly a blessing to the whole world. And from this we are deprived more and more because through the Second Vatican Council the destruction uh, of so many monasteries and convents we are deprived in such a great way from the love of God, also in this way, through the sacraments, the modern church with the modern sacraments, which are not the sacraments uh, validly uh, given by the church. Let us ask our Blessed Lady, let us ask the saints that we are able to desire most of all the, the perfectness of the fulfillment of the law that means to love God above all things and then also to live this uh, charity towards the next so that we truly can bring back this infinite love God given to us this by the intercession of the Blessed Lady Virgin Mary, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, blessed be Jesus and Mary, now and forever.